in the beginning, you talk about other players may be doing the same thing. What is the competitive landscape looks like right now? How do you position this against other JVM vendors or cloud native solutions that promise similar performance gains? Well, we just had a, a very significant announcement about one of our biggest competitors just last week, which was GraalVM, um, which GraalVM was another tool that played in this space, uh, was was used mostly, I think, for Lambda services and so forth. Um, and uh, the Java team announcing that it was going to discontinue its involvement in GraalVM um, and it's putting GraalVM out as part of the Java C subscription and developing GraalVM features as part of OpenJDK. Um, so, <clears throat> so that was a big shift in the in the competitive landscape there. Um, we... <clears throat> There are a lot of folks who are doing, well, I mean, the biggest competitor is do nothing, right? That's the biggest competitor. And, and that unfortunately is the, is, is the most, the most common uh, thing that we see. Um, the other way people derive cloud cost savings are of course, re-architecting to cloud native so that they can take advantage of cloud elasticity and scale things in different ways. But again, you have to have the people to do that. You have to have the time to do that. You have to, that has to rise up to the top of your, and very few people will do uh, complete re-architecting just to get, you know, cloud. It, it, that's a very tall ask for a lot of engineering teams to just do that, just to reduce your cloud costs. Um, what we're seeing, and this is a very complementary approach, is a lot of the Kubernetes autoscaler, um, the Kubernetes sizing engines. So there are a lot of uh, folks out there who are putting out some machine learning AI driven uh, systems that will monitor your Kubernetes fleet and look for inefficiencies and be able to automatically resize vertically your nodes. To and and that's a really good complementary approach to you know to to uh, one of these systems uh, optimizing your Kubernetes while we optimize the app that's running inside of Kubernetes. Uh, so there's a lot of a lot of goodness to happen there. Um, and then also we see OpenJDK is not Java. The Java language itself is not standing still. So we're seeing with Java 25, Project Laden came out. Um, the Project Laden engineers are are very upfront about the fact that they they base much of their approach on the Ready Now technology that 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 Azul Platform Prime has had in production for eight years now. Um, <clears throat> and so they've got some experimental stuff coming. We are very excited. We are engaged with them. We think it's going to be um, very exciting to see how we can collaborate on making some of these problems uh, be solved inside of the Java language itself, the JVM itself. Um, and so, so yeah, we're, I think there's a lot of exciting stuff happening uh, in the community around this.